history rewritten on the Kings River. The record rainfall over the last year equaled the highest levels of runoff from the Kings River. Catherine Phillips in studio tonight with more on how this will impact the valley for years to come. Well, the record wasn't even broken just because the back to back storms this winter dumping so much snow in the Sierra Nevada. Experts say it wasn't until a few days ago when they could officially say the record was broken. We knew it was going to be a big year, but we really didn't think it was going to be quite this big. The water year doesn't end until September 30th, but the Kings River Water Association says by September 17th, the Kings River had seen enough runoff to break a record. A record water year means that we are headed in the right direction to water supply after a lot of years of below average and drought conditions. Public information consultant for the Kings River Water Association, Randy McFarland, says while the storms that dumped hundreds of inches of snow on our mountains this winter were crucial, it was the series of thunderstorms in the Sierra Nevada this summer and the remainder of Hurricane Hillary that really made the difference. That generated enough extra water which put us over the top. For 2022 to 2023, the Kings River saw four and a half million acre feet of runoff, breaking the record set in 1982 to 1983. The next closest year was the 1968 to 1969 season. In recent memory, the only year that rivals this past year was in 2016 to 2017. Now the fourth wettest year with just over four million acre feet of runoff. And all this water has huge impacts. McFarland says right now, Pine Flat Reservoir is more than 50% full. He also says it's filling ponds and groundwater basins all over, including this one in Selma. When there is extra water, they will fill those ponds up with water, and the only purpose of it is to let it sink into the ground. And it eventually spreads out into the water table. And another big question still on growers' minds this season is water allocation amounts. Right now, it's still undetermined just how much they'll get. Reporting in the studio, Catherine Phillips, KC24, Local News That Matters.